Sound check ulit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. So today, I'm gonna teach you not entirely, but I'm gonna teach you how to do the cookies that I sell on my Instagram and everywhere. My Twitter na rin kami finally. I formulated this recipe last year ng kasagsaga ng wala tayong trabaho. Kaya, kasi nag-shutdown ng ABS, tapos nag-pandemia and all of that. Nagawa ako ng cookie business ko because I wanted to have my own recipe for my own cookies because I was such a cookie connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yes, a cookie connoisseur last year. Sobra addicted ko sa most cookies. So sabi ko, hmm, how do I make cookies for myself? Tapos pagkakitaan na lang natin. So yung first few batches were very ugly and salty and all of that. Tapos na fix na namin along the way. And now, this is what the cookies are. This is how they look like. This is what they should be. Uh, we, we let the dough rest overnight para yung flavors nagmamary. Because that's the only thing that can get married in this house for now. Prep your stuff before you do everything. Kasi, Mas maging mabilis, mas maging madali. I know it's gonna take a while to prep your um, ingredients, but when you get that out of the way, everything's gonna come by smoothly. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. And I think I should be a little bit farther on this camera. Hair it and uh, let's get to work. Mi rapido. Oh, look at the forehead. Don't look at that. Sabi kasi nila, tell me who your friends are, tell you who you are. And Al Mario. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing. 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 It's a so the butter, we brown them. Brown butter, white sugar, brown sugar, salt, cinnamon, and vanilla. Kem, pati yung sayo kita. Did y'all see that? Did you tell this theory proven? Tell you. <laughs> okay, that's why I got fired by my family. Bas makalat yun ko ako yung gumawa ng prep. So right now, ano ba? Set ko. Pass. Dun na lang. Two. Dahil gagawa tayo ng two batches worth of classic. Two batches worth of s'mores, speculous s'mores, and one batch worth of the chocolate walnut. Here, we're just gonna mix it until fluffy. Magpe-pale yung color niya later, okay? Ready? Mayin ito, ah. Close your ears, audience! So this is a single serving of um, the recipe, and every single serving, ang nilalagay namin na eggs ay one and a half. <laughs> Dibala one and a half. One and one yolk. Where did I put the eggs? In front of me. Nandibala yung itlog yung nanap ko ba? Tingit na lang sa ikot. Baka may shell. One. One and one. We mix it together. Parang dinan dun sa nalagyan mo mix. Para yung color mag distribute na. So this is just uh, all purpose flour, bread flour, cocoa powder, and uh, baking powder and baking soda with milk powder. Okay, we're gonna sieve it. And the important thing here is to put it in in batches para hindi siya sumabog into a lot of air. 
after this thing you're gonna see why because there's big chunks like that so what to do with that is just crush it use a spatula not a whisk there we go just making sure everything is in good form now I'm just gonna fold it in It's actually my new favorite flavor. <laughs> it's the dark chocolate walnut. Oh. It's meant to be dark and very sweet. Sorry. I like that you guys suggested this down in the comment section. <laughs> okay, so while that still has a lot of unmixed dough, I'm gonna add the chocolate and the walnuts because we don't want it to be over mix. This is a chocolate, 64% cocoa and our walnuts. What is it, walnuts? We add them in batches too. We're just gonna mix it in nice and easy. <laughs> but everything gets mixed. <laughs> Incorporated well. Now we're gonna head on to the other flavor. So we're gonna do the same thing. And you know how it looks like, so I'll just show you when we put the dry ingredients. S'mores. The difference is here, because this is speckled with s'mores. So what we do, um, we add a dollop of s'mores, speckled with s'mores, speckled with, and um, more cinnamon para this fragrance. Do the same thing, add in batches. Incorporate it and halfway through, so I'm gonna add the new chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate for this one too, 64%. Put it in the fridge because later for molding. Okay. So classic, we rest namin siya overnight. And then bukas namin nilalagyan ng tiga-apat na chocolate circles. Hindi namin siya uh, slice up para it's a surprise in the middle. So for now, this is just how it looks like. And wala pa yung chocolate, tomorrow pa yung So this is the dough, we'll rest it overnight, and then tomorrow, they're gonna become circles. I'm gonna cook them, and I'll show you. <sighs> oh, ang galing ko, di ba? Naka-off yung mic pala the whole time. So, papakita ko lang kung ano yung tura ng cookies ngayon. Sabi ko, may mold sila. Wait, before you ano siya. Ang pangit, girl. I As you can see, I'm holding the box of our product. I designed this. Sweet. That box contains wheat, gluten, MMM. That box. With the contact details on here, as you can see. And yeah, that's what our box is like. This is where they come in. So we put a parchment in. Basically, this is the ng isang cookie business and uh, yeah I hope you like that one sana natutunan nyo kung paano gawin yung cookie sulaan nyo na lang yung measurements and uh, what can I say comment, like, share, and subscribe and see you next week and remember with every good thing in life pay it forward bye bye